Since my falling out with Manjaro, if you've watched any of my previous videos, you know this. I've had a lot of people in the comments say, well, if you're not using Manjaro anymore, what do you recommend? I've recommended Stormfish OS, Arco Linux, but this is probably one of my top three that I would recommend, Endeavor OS. This is the brand new release, it's Apollo, and that's what we're gonna cover today on eBus Central. And we are at the Endeavor OS desktop. Now, if you download Endeavor, throw it on a USB, or put it into a virtual machine, this is the screen you're going to be met with. Now, when you do download it, it comes in the default XFCE desktop environment. And when you install it, you're going to have some different options if you do the online install. So let's go ahead and open up the installer. And if you pick offline mode, you're only going to have the option of using the XFCE desktop environment. So if you go ahead and click on online, the Calamares installer will open up. Now right here it's giving me a warning that my system isn't plugged in. I'm not too concerned about that because I do have enough power to finish the video and do the things that I need to do. And if you look over here you've got your itemized locations and then right here you've got desktop. So what we're going to do real quick is I'm going to go ahead and start this. We're going to go ahead and click next. And then right here you would pick your locale. I'm going to leave it on Chicago but you can change it to whatever you might want. Okay. So we'll go next. Right here you'll choose your keyboard. I'm going to stick with US and default and then right here you've got two options you can erase disk or manual partitioning now the disk that i'm putting it on is a virtual disk of course now if you're putting this on bare metal you're going to have another operating system on there probably so it'll give you an option of installing it side by side or completely erasing it or doing the manual partitioning yourself so what i'm going to do is i'm going to go ahead and choose erase disk now because this is a laptop i would add swap with hibernate and I would probably leave it on EXT4 because I do believe you do have the option of BTRFS or XFS. But I have been hearing some rumblings of some issues with BTRFS. Some people are having SSDs die out really quick. So until I've got more information on that, I'm going to go ahead and stick with EXT4. But of course, that's your option. And once you have that picked out, you can go ahead and click Next. And here's where you would choose your desktop environment. You can go with XFCE4, i3 Window Manager, KDE Plasma, GNOME, Cinnamon, Mate, Budgie, LXDE, or LXQT. All of those are great environments. I really like LXQT and Plasma KDE, but you can choose any of these that you want. Let's say we were to pick Plasma, and I could go next. Now right here is where you can add different packages if you want to. It's got Base Developer, Firefox, KDE desktop. Now, if you're somebody that is new to Linux or new to an Arch distro, I would probably not pick a lot of things in here if I were you, like the Zen kernel. You might want to go with the LTS kernel if you wanted to, but I know a lot of people that are using the present kernel, which I believe is 5.17. We'll take a look at that here in a second. And then you can go down here and you can also add printing support if you want. You could add cups and cups filters and things like that. If you've got questions about that, you can definitely do some reading up on it and it'll help explain what all printing supports you can install on it. And then of course there's support for HP printer scanner here and then accessibility tools, whether it be eSpeak, mouse tweaks, or Orca. But you can look up through here, pick what's really gonna fit you. And if you don't know what some of these items are, you can always Google or Bing it or DuckDuckGo it. And then over here you would add your user. I'm gonna go ahead and next. And right here, you would put your full name in, Troy Holt, super secret password, and then you could click next. And then right here, you would get your summary. It would let you know that your time zone was correct, system language, number of dates and locales, keyboard settings, what the disk looked like now, and what it's going to look like when the install is done. Now, I'm not going to install it right now, so what I'm going to do is go ahead and close out of this and exit and we're going to come back to the welcome screen you've got a partition manager here you could open up if you want to do some partitioning before you actually go into the install parts you can do that from right here and it's gparted let's go ahead and close out of that and then of course there's community additions if you click on that you can actually install a community edition of endeavor os and you would actually go through the same things that we just went through let's go ahead and go through it real quick so i can show you next and your community edition is bspawn, open box, qtile, sway, or worm. So they give you the opportunity to install community editions on here as well. 
So I think that is a great feature. And it's one of the few distributions out there that lets you do that. But it's integrated right into the operating system, which I think is great. So let's go ahead and close out of that. Basically, what Endeavor OS does is make it really easy for you to install the flavor that you want. About as easy as it is to slip on over to the eBuzz Central store and get your latest Linux merch, like this Endeavor OS hoodie. There's a lot of different Endeavor OS merch over on the store, so if you get a chance, zip on over, take a look. We've got a lot of great Linux gear, and if there's something you would like to see on the store that's not there, please drop us a line, and we'll try to do our best to get it up there for you. Now, back over here, you've got Bluetooth notes, you've got customizing the install process, latest release info, updating the mirrors. Now, this is something you want to do after you install it when this pops up. This will be the same welcome screen, but it won't have installer or community editions. It'll have other choices over here for you, but you do want to update your mirrors right off the bat. And then installation tips, change your display resolution, and how to share system logs. And then if you go over here, you've got general info. You can get to the website, the wiki, which comes in real handy if you're having issues. You can go over there and get some questions answered. Latest news, and then a forum. That's another place to get your questions answered. And then donate, and then about welcome. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and close out of this. And as you can see, it's got a beautiful desktop. I love that wallpaper. What I want to do right off the bat is see what other options they have on wallpaper. And as you can see, as like the previous Endeavor OSs, you get one specialized wallpaper and then the rest are XFCE. Now I do want to state that the size of this ISO when I downloaded it was 1.9 gigabytes which is about half the size of the Manjaro download. So you know when you download this, you're not getting a bloated mess with a bunch of problems. You can also come over here and if you stick with the XFCE desktop environment, you can come over here and customize it pretty much the way you want. Okay, let's go ahead and close out of that. If you come down here, you've got live user, date and time, notifications, percentage of your battery that's left, volume, default zone for your internet, English and then of course right here you can take a screenshot of the entire screen if you would like to. If you come back over here you've got Firefox as your default browser. Let's go ahead and take a look at the file manager and it's Thunar file manager. I love the theme that they use on this. It's just nice simplistic. It's got kind of an Apple feel to it but it's not overly relying on that Apple theme if you know what I mean. There are a lot of different distributions out there that want to make themselves look like a Mac and I just don't like it. You've got your usual suspects over here and then you've got your home folders right here. I'm going to go ahead and close out of this and we're going to zip down and open up the terminal. Now what I want to do right off the bat is see if it comes with HTOP and it doesn't so we will go with top. And as you can see we have 3 gigabytes of RAM issued to this machine. At present we are using 566 megabytes of RAM which is extremely light. That's half a gig just to run the operating system with terminal open. I know some KDEs out there that run about 800 to a gig, and then you've got some GNOMEs that run in the neighborhood of about a gig and a half. So if you're looking for something that's lightweight, Arch-based, Endeavor OS is definitely something to take a look at. I'm going to go ahead and close out of the terminal. And then if you come down here, we've got that log tool. This is a place right here where you can keep a journal of everything that happens on your system. So that way, if you should run into problems, you can always go back in here recheck data, check logs, and you can kind of see where something may have went wrong. That way you know where to go back in and fix it. So this is a very handy tool and it comes right out of the box with this OS. Now if you come down here to the applications menu, you've got favorites, you've got all applications, you do have accessories, you've got an application finder, archive manager, bulk rename, calculator, task manager, development, You've got CMake, Icon Browser, Graphics. You get Ristretto Image Viewer out of the box. Internet, you've got Firefox, Multimedia. You've got Parole Media Player, Pulse Audio Volume Control. And then, you, of course, you've got your settings, okay? You've got your display settings, power management, everything like that. If you want to look at the whole settings manager, just open it up. We'll maximize that. You've got different ways over here to change the appearance. And right now, your style is arc darker. You could change that if you wanted to. I'm going to leave it. And then, of course, you can change your icons, adjust your fonts, and then show image on buttons. You've got different settings you can change over there. So I'm going to go ahead and close out of settings. And we will go ahead and go back down here, back into settings. And then you've got session startup, window manager, YAD settings. Now, I love YAD. If you're not familiar with YAD, it's a great tool right here. You can definitely 
tweak the way your system looks. I'm going to go ahead and just maximize it. Width of dialog windows, height of dialog windows, you can really come in here and adjust things and edit them to the exact way you want it. Color of first type marks, second type marks, default theme, you can change that, or default theme for text. You can really come in here and make a lot of different settings and change a lot of different settings and really make Endeavor OS your operating system. And then we will come back down over here and we'll go over to system. You've got firewall, gparted, task manager, xfce, terminal. Now, to install software, you're going to use the terminal. But you can install Paymac on Endeavor OS. It's real simple. If you decide that Endeavor OS is the route you want to go, and you download it and you do install it, you can just go in and Google how to install Paymac on Endeavor OS. It's a couple, two or three lines of commands, and then it's done and you're good to go. And if you're somebody that wants to stay away from Paymac and wants to stay with the terminal and you're choosing Endeavor OS to really figure out how you're going to utilize the terminal in your computer usage, it's a great distro for that. As a matter of fact, they call it the terminal-centric distro. So you should be good to go from there. And that's a quick look at the newest release of Endeavor OS Apollo. What do you think about it? Is it something you might download, throw on a USB, put in a virtual machine and take for a test drive? Let me know in the comments below. Also, if you get a chance, be sure to zip on over to the eBuzz Central store. Shop around. If you see something you might like, go ahead and pick it up. And like I said, if there's something you would love to see on the store but isn't there, just drop us a line. We'll do our best to get it up there for you. Do me a favor before you leave today. Please like, subscribe, or follow my channel. It doesn't cost anything, and if you end up not liking me, you can always unsubscribe. If you like the channel and enjoy the videos that we are producing, you can become a member to the channel right here on YouTube. Buy us a cup of coffee. Zip on over to Patreon and become a patron to the channel. Or you can go to PayPal and make a donation. Those links will be in the description below. Thank you for watching my video, and I will see you in the next video.